Hey folks and welcome to today's COPS quick tip. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how I set up my COPS desktop when I'm doing uh, some work in COPS. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup but it is important if we want to have a decent workflow because otherwise you are going to end up jumping around a lot between COPS, SOPS and LOPS when you're doing this type of work. On the screen now you can see the, the default setup all folded out but I'm going to build it from the start. Let's go. I'm going to start with the standard build set up here and we're going to rearrange it so um, we can save out our own custom desktop for doing substance type stuff. I'm going to get rid of as much as I possibly can and keep it fairly simple overall so I'm going to close all of these down. I'll keep the geometry spreadsheet over here and I will keep my network view over here. Now I usually have the network view split in half and this is where I'm going to put my uh, COPS work. I will need a composite viewer, so I'm going to split this one on the left hand side at top and bottom. And I'm going to change this over to my composite viewer just here. So I want this pane here to work with my scene view and I want the pane on the right hand side to work with my composite view. So I'm going to set this one up to number one and I'm going to set this guy here up to number one as well so that they're linked and then I'm going to set this guy up to number two, the composite viewer here, and I'll set my composite network over here to number two as well, so they'll all be linked up together. Uh, so let's just go back to my OBJ level here, and just for now, just to make sure it's all working okay, I'm just gonna put down a grid, and there you go. We can see our grid in our OBJ view here. Usually what I actually do is I keep the comp network inside in my OBJ level, so here's the comp network here. So I'm actually gonna set this guy over to OBJ and I'm gonna jump in here into my comp network. Now, if it doesn't find a comp network, it'll default to the, the top level image network, but I usually keep a comp network inside in SOPS. So that's the basic setups where I can see something happening in COPS here and I can see something happening up in SOPS up here. Now, I also need a setup that will allow me to jump over into LOPS so I can do some lighting. So I'm going to add another viewer up here and this time I'm going to change it over to the stage and I'm going to add another tab network view here. I'm gonna set this over to the stage as well. And now I need to link these two up. So I'm gonna set this one to three and I'm going to set my stage view over here to three as well so that they'll stay hooked up together. When I'm building my lighting network over in the stage context, I will also need to jump in and out of a material library at points when I'm doing shader building. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this network here top to bottom, and I'm just gonna put down a material library for a second here. This guy I'm going to set up to look into that material library. And this one I'm going to set up to be number four. So let's go and set all these guys back now. So this guy needs to go back over to OBJ and back into my comp net. So we're in the comp net down here and it's hooked up over here, that's correct. We've got our material library over here, uh, which we can jump in and out of. This is going to be our stage setup. It's set to number three and so is this guy over here. And then our OBJ view is set to number two and it's, or sorry, set to number one and it's set to number one over here as well. So that's the entire setup. And then usually what I do is I have this folded up. Um, the COP network will cook every time if you leave this showing. So I have this either closed most of the time or else fully open. So I'm gonna close that guy down. This guy I usually have closed up as well unless I'm over in the stage view doing some look development. And usually I've got it left like this for the default. So with that all set up, I'm just going to go to here and I would say save current desktop as. I would save that out as substance. You can click save here and you have yourself a substance desktop, which should hopefully make it a good bit easier so that you can develop your initial shapes within SOPS. You can adjust them within COPS. Then you can hook them up over in LOPS and you can do some look development. So as usual with Houdini, we have to do a few extra steps to get it set up the way we want, but the flip side of that is they give us a very flexible system so we can do whatever we like with it. Hopefully you'll find this setup useful and I'll see you in the next video.